Galileo, where I work to create programs to help kids grow as innovators. For this challenge, you'll create a musical instrument called a dulcimer that makes four different sounds using just a few items from around your house. To do this, you'll need to be reflective by listening carefully to what each rubber band string sounds like and thinking about what adjustments you can make to create what you feel are the most pleasing sounds. This is Audrey. She's going to help us with this challenge. Come on, let's get started. To start, gather your materials. You'll need a piece of cardboard, scissors, some straws, masking tape, two large rubber bands, two paper cups, and a toilet paper tube. Don't worry if you don't have the exact materials. We'll show you some others you can use instead. For example, you can use pencils or markers instead of straws. Now prepare your materials. Ask an adult to help you cut the cardboard into two rectangles. Make sure that the corrugations run lengthwise on the cardboard. This will ensure a strong base that won't bend. Your base should also be just wide enough for both cups to sit side by side. Stack the two pieces of cardboard and tape them together in at least four places. We chose to tape ours together at the corners. Next, attach the toilet paper tube handle. Start with a piece of tape that runs from inside the tube to the cardboard base. Strengthen it with a second piece of tape across to form a plus sign with the tape. If you don't have a toilet paper roll, you can use anything that's about the same size, like a small plastic bottle or some pens taped together. Turn the base over so the tube is on the bottom. Attach the paper cups upside down to the base using the rubber bands. First, stretch the rubber bands around the long side of the cardboard. Lift each rubber band and slide a cup underneath it. Your dulcimer is ready to be played. Tap or pluck each rubber band to hear the different tones each string makes. Your goal is to make four different nice sounding tones. Be reflective. Listen carefully and notice the different sounds that come from each string. Now you can redesign. Move the cups to make different tones. Now we're gonna move it mm -hmm. so to make mm -hmm. different noises. Ask yourself, what kinds of tones do long rubber band strings make? Are the notes high or low? What about short rubber bands? Keep moving the cups until you are happy with all four tones. Another way to redesign is to add two straws or pens underneath the cups. To do this, remove the cups and rubber bands and then tape the straws or pens to the cardboard base. Then replace the rubber bands and the cups so that the cups can tip back and forth. Notice how tipping the cups changes the volume and the tone. Do you want to move it? Keep moving the cups until you're happy with all the tones your dulcimer makes. Make your instrument yours by adding fun colors, designs, or other decorations to the base. Happy playing! Okay, that's it for this challenge. When you've completed your dulcimer, we'd love to see a photo or a video of you playing it. So please share. See you next time. Bye. Hi, everybody. We're still rolling, right? Are they ready? Right? Yep.